Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, your place for news and gameplay. Some good, some bad, and let's be honest, likely some rage and tilting. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell for notifications. In today's episode, we're focusing on some test server action. This weekend, we're again looking at the three new bots from the Ragnarok pack, the Fenrir, Tyr, and Loki. As well, we'll look at the changes to the Avalanche, which is the heavy version of the Columbus. Just as a reminder, the Fenrir has two modes, the Scout and Attack mode. In the Scout mode, the Fenrir walks quicker, has an Aegis Shield, and two medium weapons. In Attack mode, it is slower, loses the Aegis Shield, but gains 50% reduction, as well as access to its heavy weapon. The Tyr has two modes, Support and Assault. In Support mode, it moves quicker, can constantly heal itself as well as any teammates within the healing ring, and only has access to its two medium weapons. In Assault Mode, the tier is slower, loses its healing ability, but gains a physical shield and access to its two light weapons. The Loki also has two modes, the Recon and Attack Modes. In the Recon Mode, it is very fast, one of, if not the quickest bot in the game, has infinite stealth, but no weapons activated. In Attack Mode, the Loki becomes slower, loses its stealth, but gains access to all three light weapons. There has all only been a few changes since last weekend's test server. The speed of the Loki has been changed. Previously it was 60 km per hour in attack mode and 90 km per hour in recon mode. Now it's been reduced to 50 km per hour and 80 km per hour respectively. However, the infinite stealth, much to my disappointment, is still there. The avalanche has also been changed. The reload speed has thankfully been reduced and the rockets fire faster which makes it potentially viable for a long-range splash setup, but it's still not meant to be used in a brawling situation. My gameplay only shows limited usage of the avalanche, but hopefully you'll be able to extrapolate how effective it may be. So without any further ado, let's get into the action.
Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed my gameplay for this test server. My final thoughts are that the Avalanche should be more viable in its current state. As I use the Ragnarok bots more, I can't help but think that they will be very strong when used correctly. Look at the Fenrir as an example. It has one heavy and two medium slots when it's in its attack mode with 50% resistance. And that's constant, no duration until you switch back to the scout mode. Compare that to a Falcon, which has 66% damage reduction, which is also constant until you go into Fang Scout mode, but you only have one weapon available, and that's the heavy slot weapon in the middle. Or look at the Al Guang, the Green Dragon, which has 50% damage resistance with 3 medium weapons, but only for a duration of 12 seconds. The Tear will also be a beast, but there's still a bug that the physical shield is not blocking damage. However, it's nice to see Pixonic has fixed the healing ring bug that was present last weekend. Previously, when you first dropped in with the Tear, the healing ring was not being displayed, but now it is. And the Loki should never, ever have infinite stealth. This is the biggest problem I see with these bots. The fact that the only reliable way to deal with the Loki is to force you to use your power cells for Quantum Radar. If this comes into the game as it is, it'll only set a precedence for Pixonic to do the same thing with other future bots or weapons, forcing you to play the game in ways that you may not want to play it, forcing you to use your power cells because there is no other way to counter a bot or a weapon reliably. I don't have a problem with the Loki having stealth, but it should only be for a duration and have an actual cooldown. Right now, I believe the cooldown is only for one second. The Loki, in my opinion, needs a complete rework. One final thought I noticed. Somehow, there were few people equipping the igniter in the test server, which is the media member. It appeared pink on any of the robots that had it, but even more disturbing is that it wasn't even available to select on the test server. So I have no idea how it was able to be used other than people hacking, unless I somehow missed it, but I did look for it, and I also did look for the Calamity. Neither one of them were available, at least for me to select. Anyways, those are my initial thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for future content. And until next time, cause some mayhem on the field for me.